Hey everyone, it's Lily720. Today we will be continuing with Spyro the Dragon. We'll be finishing up the artisan world by confronting the boss of the world, Toasty. This dragon mouth was previously closed. We needed to do at least one other level in this world, but we've done them all, so now it's time to meet the boss, Toasty. And I actually really, really hate this level both as a regular level and as a boss level and I will show you why in a second. The shepherds are the same from Stone Hill but it's because of these gray dogs there. You'll see because they do that when you burn them and then they jump on you and attack you and smash you and I hate it and I don't know it's like it took me a while to just figure out a good strategy. I hate that I have to keep running away. It's like, uh, it's just irritating. And they're kind of creepy. The first time I played this game, they really took me by surprise because they just like go nuts after you burn them the first time. And then they bark and try to, oh, they squish you like that. And I was doing so well at not getting squished. And, oh, another thing I hate about this level is that there is no food for Sparks. So, once Sparks disappears, that's it. We don't get, oh my god, we don't get another chance, and I'm probably gonna die. We might see our first death. I was trying to put our first death off as long as possible, probably until the third world, because that's when it really starts to get difficult, but... Who knows, we might get a special treat this time. Oh, thank god I didn't have to jump to get him. Okay, we're gonna put this little part to the right on hold for a second. Because there's some stuff out here. There are gems. And this dog thing. Oh, that didn't get us! Oh, we managed to get behind it. Okay, that's great. There's no room for that one. Die. Okay, good. And we burned that one. Oh, and we made it through this section alive. This part always kills me. And okay, we'll go back. Now we're back here. And let's kill this douchebag. Alright, really quick, there's a dragon in front of us. We'll check the inventory. There are only a hundred gems and only one dragon. All of the boss levels in this game, with the exception of the final boss, which is Nasty Nork. All those levels have w only one dragon. They are the only levels uh, that have only one dragon. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring them on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. This boss is neither that devious, nor does it have many tricks up its sleeve. Now the dragon is always right before the boss because just stepping on the platform will allow Spyro to restart at the platform um, if he dies. And so we're going to take on the boss, kill this thing, get out of the way. Okay, that's Toasty right there with the pumpkin head. I don't know if you can see that. I did, it was kind of quick, but I don't want to point it out yet. Okay, we made it, and we killed the dog. Okay, and it's Toasty is just a sheep. He's a sheep on stilts. The pumpkin head, which might be this, broken, I don't know. And his little reaper sickle. It's all an act. He's hiding behind these gray dog things, which still suck. And here we have Toasty, it's just a sheep on stilts. And please tell me that these are our last gems. And they are! Oh, there was only the one dragon. Yes! We can return home. And oh, we didn't die! Oh, I'm so excited. That was great. 
and now we can get sheep to restore sparks to his beautiful gold color. We're going to save quickly because I don't want to do that again. And now we can I will kill a few frogs first, maybe get a few of those little life crystal thingies. Not miss the frog. And we can go see the balloonist. Before the balloonist, just want to show it off. The inventory, we got all of the gems, there are a thousand in this world, and we got all of the dragons, 16. So we have everything. We only needed 10 to move on, but now we're done and we don't have to come back. Now we can talk to Marco. Well done, Spyro. He didn't believe in us. And now he will take us to Peacekeepers. The names of the worlds actually describe the types of dragons that live there so the first world artisans they're the ones that make things i guess the peacekeepers it's a little more self-explanatory they're peacekeepers all right so here we are in the peacekeepers world it has a little there's water right here for the little um dock but it actually has kind of a desert canyon type of feel and we are going to stop here in the next video we will be uh, we will be covering we will be covering the home world of peacekeepers so thank you for watching and i shall see you later